Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another meal prep video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you two meal prep lunch ideas, two meal prep dinner ideas, and washing my produce for the week ahead. I wanted to thank Home Chef for sponsoring this week's meal prep video. Now, Adam and I have actually used Home Chef before for several years. Um, I actually had an account that was on hold and I have used it along with some other meal prep services throughout the years to just help get dinner on the table for those busy nights when we are super busy with work and activities. If you guys are interested in trying out Home Chef, check out the link in my description box below and use the code CHAPIN30 for $30 off your first box. One more thing I like about Home Chef is their extensive options for food. They actually have 18 different meal options each week. This week I'm going to be prepping two meals from them that came in my box for lunches for Adam and I to take to work. The first dish that I'm going to make is a roasted salmon and cauliflower. This turned out really delicious. And the thing I like about Home Chef is that it really gives you some unique ingredients to try without having the commitment of buying a whole container of something. It also just gives you great um, recipes and food combinations that you might not normally think of. So what I'm doing here is just getting my cauliflower on my baking dish and my salmon is there as well. I went ahead and put a separate piece of foil for the salmon just in case it was done before the cauliflower. I'm seasoning that. I also went ahead and drizzled my um, cauliflower with olive oil and some garlic and then the everything seasoning that came with my box. Next, I'm going to make the marinade for the salmon. Now I have to apologize because I did not actually read the directions quite thoroughly enough before I made this recipe, but it still worked out fine. Um, basically, you are supposed to marinate your salmon in this liquid smoke and sugar mixture, but I actually just poured it over the salmon and baked it and it turned out delicious. I actually would have never thought to combine liquid smoke with a seafood dish. Like I've always used liquid smoke in like barbecue sauce and meat dishes. I would have never thought to combine it with salmon, but it turned out so, so good. So once my cauliflower and salmon were on the baking dish, I just went ahead and popped that into the oven. Um, I set the oven at 425 and I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. Now when the 15 minutes was up, the salmon was done, but the cauliflower was not. So it was actually a good thing that I put it kind of in separate pieces so that I could take one out before the other. The next thing that I'm going to get started on is the vinaigrette that goes with the dish. After it's cooked, you just pour the vinaigrette over the salmon and the cauliflower. Now, obviously the meals uh, are meant to be, or I guess, you know, you could do this either way, but they're meant to be eaten right when you cook them. I like using meal delivery services for meal prepping because it just gets me excited to make something new. It gives me a new dish that I can prep ahead of time and make for my lunches during the work week. And if, I've, if I'm excited to eat something, um, it's just more likely that I'll eat it and I won't go out to eat or eat in the cafeteria at work. So I went ahead and whisked all the vinaigrette ingredients together um, per the directions in my box. I am going to remove the salmon from the baking dish because it was finished. The cauliflower still needed a little bit of extra time. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that back in the oven and let that finish roasting. If you guys are interested in trying Home Chef, I will have a link in my description box below where you can get $30 off your first order. There's really no risk. You can pause it at any time. I would encourage you to try um, a service like this if you've never tried it before. For people that like to cook like me, or even if you don't like to cook, I think it's just fun to get a box of ingredients delivered to your doorstep. Um, it just makes it kind of fun to cook. Sometimes like Adam and I will do this as date night too and um, I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of a fun thing. So I went ahead and put the food in my meal prep bowls. I had some extra mashed potatoes from another meal that I went ahead and just popped in there with it. So there is my cauliflower and salmon and just a little bit of mashed potatoes with the vinaigrette poured over the top. Guys, this was so, so good. I loved it. It made a delicious lunch. 
All right, so the next meal that I'm going to prep from my Home Chef box this week is the jerk steak tacos. I went ahead and made this for Adam because he is not a big fan of salmon and I knew he would like this recipe. So I thought this would be good for him. What this is, is a, um, a beef taco recipe and you are going to make sort of like a roasted pineapple slaw to go on top of the tacos, which turns out really good. So I went ahead and chopped up my pineapple that came in my box and you'll see me actually sauteing this in a pan here in a little bit, but I put my uh, coleslaw mixture in a bowl along with some chopped up cilantro. Um, I'm also going to juice my lime and get that into the slaw mixture as well. Okay, so I also seasoned my slaw with some olive oil, salt, and pepper, and the next thing that I'm going to do is work on cutting up my jalapeno. So for part of the jalapeno, that will actually be thinly sliced and mixed in with the slaw mixture, and then the other half I'm going to dice up really finely, and I will mix that with my steak. So this meal comes with some really thinly sliced beef steak. You just wanna season that with salt and pepper, and your jalapeno and to clear out my pan for the steak i'm going to empty out my sauteed pineapple into the slaw mixture this was really really good i would have never thought about this combination to like roast pineapple and put it in with slaw it was really good so i will mix that up and then my pan is cleaned out I drizzled a little bit of olive oil in there and I'm just going to put in the beef and jalapeno mixture and let that cook until it is just cooked through. You don't want to overcook this, especially if you're doing it for a meal prep like I did. You're going to have to heat it back up in the microwave and so just make sure that you don't overcook it. So once the beef is cooked on one side, you can just stir it around a little bit to get the other side cooked. The nice thing about beef like this is that it's super thin and it cooks up really quickly, so it's a super quick meal. Once the beef is almost cooked all the way, uh, you will go ahead and pour in your jerk sauce, which gives the beef a really good flavor. Um, another thing I didn't mention is that I really like services like this um, because it gives me new recipes. I obviously get to keep the recipe card, so if it's a meal that I really like, um, I have the recipe and I can recreate it again with my own ingredients if I want to, and I have done that before. For, um, a lot previous times so once the beef is cooked up then your meal is basically done so if you're going to serve this right away you would obviously put it in the taco shells and put your slaw on top but since I'm doing this in a meal prep style I packed the slaw mixture separately and then I'm going to take the steak and put that into a glass dish uh, this recipe actually is for two servings but um, I actually just went ahead and put it into one since Adam was going to be eating it for lunch. I didn't think that it probably would have served two people. I thought it was more like one person. Well, a big appetite, I guess. But here is the beef and the slaw and the tortillas. He had that for lunch one day for work and said it was really, really good. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to get started on is a test batch of clam chowder. Uh, for Christmas holiday this year, uh, Adam wanted me to try and make some clam chowder. We always usually have soup and sandwiches on Christmas day with his family. And I know that he really likes clam chowder and it's something that I've never made before. I've made potato soup and corn chowder and different things like that. I've just never made clam chowder. So the recipe that I followed pretty loosely was the recipe from Kimmy at She's in Her Apron. I will go ahead and leave a link to that video down below. I did kind of make it my own, so it's not exactly like hers, but you kind of get the idea. So uh, the first thing I did was wash up my celery. When I put celery in a soup, I prefer to slice it lengthwise first and then dice it just so I get really small pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish chopping up my celery and then I will get to work on the onion for the soup as well.
All right, so I'm going to add about half a stick of butter to a heavy bottomed pot. That is what I'm going to cook my soup in. And then I will add my chopped onion and celery. Now, I actually probably should have added less celery to this. That was one of Adam's critiques of this particular batch that I made was that it had too much celery in it. And so when I re-cooked this for Christmas, I actually put less celery in there and he said it was a lot better. So... Uh, the next thing that you want to do while the veggies are sauteing and that little bit of olive oil and butter is to peel your potatoes. So I just have three medium sized potatoes. I was only making half a batch of this just because uh, Adam was going to eat it for supper that night. And then I just wanted to have a few extra containers for him to take to work during the week or that he could have for um, a quick dinner after work. So I am going to dice my potatoes. When I make soup, I like to actually dice my potatoes pretty small so that they cook evenly and when you're making a soup it's nicer to have like smaller chunks of veggies that fit better on your spoon so um, that would be my advice for cutting up potatoes I did get a couple questions previously on my peeler that I use and it's nothing fancy it's just a Farberware um, peeler that I got from Walmart like probably eight years ago. So I don't know. I've had it for a long time and it works fine. So here is my uh, veggies sauteing in my pot. I'm going to add a few squeezes of garlic paste that equates to about two cloves of garlic and stir that around. The original recipe did not call for sauteing the veggies. It just called for boiling them, but I always like to saute mine. I just think that it adds a lot more flavor. So I would recommend doing that. Now, once your veggies are softened, you can go ahead and add your um, diced up potato to the pot and the only liquid that you will need to cook the potatoes is actually the juice from the clams so I got two cans of clams for this recipe I got one chopped and one minced and I'm just using a strainer to hold over the pot and draining the clam juice into the potatoes now it does not look like a whole lot of liquid but basically you'll just turn the heat down to like medium put a cover on it and let this simmer until the potatoes are nice and soft and tender this recipe calls for cornstarch to thicken up the soup. The original recipe called for one cup, which I thought was a little much. So I actually used half a cup and then I am whisking that in with some milk mixed with half and half. I'm just using a large measuring cup. Um, this will thicken up pretty quickly once you add it to the soup. So you just want to be cognizant of that and make sure that when you're mixing your cornstarch, you mix it with a cold liquid. Don't pour it directly into the soup or you'll get a lot of lumps. So once your cornstarch is mixed in with your milk, then just go ahead and put that into the pot with your cooked veggies and clam juice and just stir that around and simmer it on medium low heat until it is nice and thick. And you can also um, add your clams back in at this point as well. So basically you just want to taste it and season it. I added some salt and pepper and a little bit of Old Bay seasoning and I had Adam taste it since he would be the one eating it and he said that it turned out really good. So uh, this is the recipe that I will be using from now on for clam chowder. Um, I hope if you guys try it you will let me know how you like it as well. So once he was done eating dinner then I just wanted to get this into the refrigerator for later use during the week. I have one of these wide mouth funnels that I've mentioned before in some of my videos. Um, I use this all the time for meal prep and for putting food in the kids thermoses to take for school lunch, but um, I'll link it down below. I just got it on Amazon. It's super inexpensive. So um, this gave me actually three dishes of clam chowder. I actually gave one to my sister and the other couple we just kept in the fridge to eat during the work week. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is just get started washing my produce. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know that I love my OXO salad spinner for this. I'll link it down below. Um, a bunch of you have told me that you've got this salad spinner and you love it. And yes, I love it as well. It's one of my most used kitchen appliances. So I have some romaine lettuce that I'm going to chop up and wash. I like to actually soak my salad greens in cold lemon water before I rinse them and spin them dry. So I just like to chop up my lettuce and then I juice a lemon right in the salad spinner. 
and I will put that in the sink and fill that up with really, really cold water and let the greens sit in that for about 10 to 15 minutes before I drain them and spin them dry. Um, the lemon juice actually gives the lettuce kind of a nice um, citrusy flavor. It's not super strong, uh, but it's obviously a better taste than if you would use vinegar or something like that. And it also helps to keep the lettuce from browning when it's in your refrigerator. So I like to spin that dry. And then for this batch, I didn't have a ton of room in my fridge. So I'm just using a Ziploc bag and putting the lettuce in there. And I will also fold up a little bit of paper towel and add that to the Ziploc as well, just to make sure that all of the extra liquid is absorbed. So another thing that I always like to keep on hand for us during the work week, uh, both for myself and my husband and our kids is some washed up grapes. So normally I get red grapes, but they did not look too hot at the grocery store this week. And so I went ahead and got green ones. I just like to pick those off the stems and put them in my salad spinner along with a little bit of vinegar to clean them off. I fill it up with cold water and let those sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before I rinse them. And then you can just pour them into a container or a Ziploc bag and they will stay fresh for you in the refrigerator all week. It's just like with any produce, you know, the the more you have it ready to go in the fridge without having to wash it, the more likely that you are to eat it. The next thing that I was going to prep is some broccoli. We were going to have this for a side dish for dinner one night this week, and it will definitely keep in the refrigerator um, during the work week in a Ziploc bag. So I'm just cutting off the florets and putting those in my salad spinner, and then I will soak that in cold water and rinse it until it is clean. Okay, so I also usually buy a bag of apples every week and go ahead and pre-wash those and just leave them out in the fruit bowl. That way if my kids complain of being hungry before dinner, I can say, hey, look, go get an apple if you're really hungry. So <laughs> sometimes that works to sort of save them from eating unhealthy treats before dinner. But uh, same thing with those. I just soak them in cold water and a little bit of vinegar and rinse them off. And then I just dry them with a clean towel and I keep a fruit bowl on the counter and I'll just go ahead and pop those in there and that way they will be ready for us to snack on during the week. My kids like to eat those uh, with peanut butter. Sometimes I'll cut them up and I'll eat them with um, some peanut butter cups. So they really like that. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to prep for this week is some ground beef taco meat. So my kids really love walking tacos or just plain tacos or anything really goes over well. Um, I got two pounds of ground beef and I'm just putting that in a skillet with a little bit of salt and pepper and garlic powder. Now you could add diced onion to this and that's probably what I would do if my kids weren't so particular about it. They're not really super picky eaters, but sometimes they get kind of, um, picky if there's chopped up onion in their taco meat. I don't know. You know, it's just like pick your battles, but um, I like to use the McCormick taco seasoning. I actually bought it in a, a bigger uh, package, like a bag from Walmart. And I like it because I can always keep it on hand. So just per the package directions, I'm adding some of that seasoning along with some water. And I like to see or let my taco meat simmer on the stove for a little bit so that it gets tender. But basically that will just simmer away until all of the liquid is absorbed. And then I can pop that in the refrigerator. It is a super easy thing to prep ahead. I would totally recommend this for busy nights. Um, it's just so easy to take a little bit out, warm it up, and you have yourself tacos or a taco salad um, for a night when you're just running kids to and from practice and you don't have time to make anything else.
Okay, so lastly, I just wanted to show you guys what I do when I get meat that is on sale um, at the grocery store. I found this thin cut chicken breast that was on sale at Walmart, and I know that even though I didn't have a plan for it this week, that I will definitely use it in the future. So I'm just going to pop that into a Ziploc bag, make sure that I label it, and that will go in my deep freezer so that I can have um, some chicken for a later week. So here is everything that I got prepped today on this meal prep Sunday. I have my washed lettuce all ready to go, uh, my chopped up celery for snacking, and I can actually probably make some stock with that as well. I have my broccoli for a side dish this week, my washed up grapes for the kids to eat for breakfast and lunch, and Adam and I to take for snacks. I also have the jerk steak tacos and those are ready to go along with a few um, tortillas. I have my taco meat ready to go for walking tacos this week. My two dishes of the roasted salmon and cauliflower that I took to work and they were really, really delicious. Um, I have my clam chowder, so three containers of that for us to have for lunches and dinners. And then I also just have some oyster crackers there to go with that. And then my chicken that I can pop in the freezer for a later use. So that is it for this week's meal prep. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about anything I used in this video as far as kitchen equipment, um, leave them in the comments below. I usually try to link everything, but I might miss something now and again. I will see you in my next video. Bye.